Hello, everybody. Magic Monday, the 1st of 2023, and we're going to begin, <clears throat> excuse me, as promised yesterday, and probably, hopefully I did something uh, kind of clever with the thumbnail. I uh, haven't actually looked yet, but hopefully this is something that you enjoy because I'm going to enjoy it. I have never seen a thing like this before. Coming special from the fantastic person who got me the Krang Funko. World's smallest. Apparently, in looking at the packaging, I haven't opened them yet. She, uh, she sent me two of them, and I'm, I want to open one. It, it, it literally appears. Yeah, it even says it. Yes, actually works. So we have two tiny, and I'm talking. Uh, let's see. Do I have? Yes, right here. Here's a slab. You know, this is your standard slab, just to see how little we're talking about. And let's see what I can do with these banana hands. But this series is Heroes vs. Monsters. Uh, one I'm not familiar with, a dual deck set. Uh, pause, because this is probably going to get ugly, trying to get it out of the uh, packaging here. Be with you in a moment, hopefully with no bandages. I swear, whoever came up with packaging... Like this, <clears throat> there is a special place in the deepest bowels of Tartarus reserved for you. I am extremely intrigued by what is contained in these tiny little, almost smaller than Tic Tac size boxes contained. We've got two different decks. We've got a, a mountain and a plains, this one, and a mountain and a forest, this one. And apparently in here are two miniature, I'll show you the back, fully playable 60 card deck, which is the standard size of the Magic deck. You can go, at least in Arena, you can go up to uh, 250, but the m least you can have is 60 to just play standard Magic. Oh, come now. See, folks? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Look at these. These are amazing. I don't care what cards are in here. These are... All right, now positioning. We're going to have to get up close and personal here, folks. Sorry. We got a ti the tiniest Sun Titan. Let's see if I can do this. The Somberwald Vigilante. Figure of Destiny. It's a kitchen. Oh, thank God my kitchen doesn't look like that. Cavalry Pegasus. The Fencing Ace. A human creature with double strike, which means it hits twice. Ooh, Thraben Valiant. I like that. Stun Sniper. Oh, man, these are another Stun Sniper. And again, I think we're going to be seeing uh, a lot of doubles because... Since this is basically a pre-built deck, uh, it's going to be, you know, like I say, we're going to see some doubles. True Fire Paladin, Auromancer, Free Wind Equinaut, Equinaut, Equinaut. We got one, two of them. We've got Anax and Siamede. Ooh, I like that little history going on there, mythology maybe even going in here. A pair of armory guards, a gust cloak sentinel, Dawnstrike Paladin. I'm sorry, I am have to get real close to the camera because these are the tiniest little things. They And I have mentioned it before as we go on here. Okay, I found an armrest here. Nobilis of War, Kamal Pit Fighter, Condemn, condemn, wow. I, I don't know what I was trying to say, but we have Condemn, a pair of them. Daily Regimen. Pay no heed, I often don't. That's why I am in the position I am sometimes. Righteousness, well, there you go. Stand Firm, always do. Magma Jet. Ordeal of Perforos. Bonds of Faith. Moment of Heroism. Undying Rage. And these are basically perfect little miniatures. Battle Mastery, Griffin Guide, 
Smite the Monstrous. Yeah, baby. Miraculous Recovery, Winds of Wrath. Winds of Wrath? I'm wondering if that's in reference to something, because Wrath should have a W. Psycho Pyrokinesis. And here we've got our lands. Let's see, the Boros Guildgate. Really, really pretty. We've got New Benalia. Two of them. Here's our mountains. Okay, all the... Oop, nope, different design. So nice. Here's a couple more mountains, and here's our plains. Again, sorry if my fingers are in the way, because I am not equipped to deal with that. And on the back, a tiny little griffin token. So we do have some good mythology in here. And that was one little deck that is... Well, I'll clean that up in a little bit. That is amazing. I love it. Now the next question is going to be, and I'm sure it's true, if we can find little uh, top loaders for these if we ever need them. I'm hoping so. Ooh, we start off with something good in the red-green deck. Red-green, great show. Anybody that knows it will know what I'm talking about. If the women can't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy and keep your stick on the ice. But I do, I have said, anything comically large or small, I am a fan of. Wow, look at this little thing. Hydra, we got Polychronos, the World Eater. Orcish Lumberjack. There you go. Oh, good, Speed Rays. Deadly Recluse, pair of them. Kavu Predator. It's a Kavu. Don't know what a Kavu is. There's some lore in here, and I'm going to find it. Seder Hedonist. Zerta Druid. Well, that's a nice looking one. Uh, we got Blood Ogre. No, thank you. Two of them. A Troll Ascetic? Acidic? It's not aesthetic. I don't know what that word would be. Asketic? Hmm, interesting. Crown Ceratok. It's a rhino, and it's large. Gorehorn Minotaurs. I'd put it up there, but we wouldn't be able to see it. You know me, I love me my Minotaurs. Oh, we got a pair of Gorehorn Minotaurs. Yeah, buddy. I'm putting them separate. A Gore Clan Savage, a Centaur Berserker. Okay, we've definitely got a lot of uh, mythology in here. Greek more specific. Deus of Calamity. A Conquering Manticore. I don't think it was Greek, but the Manticore is mythological. A Crater Hellion. Scargon Firebird. Okay, so it's a phoenix, so now we're dipping into... Who was the phoenix? Roman? Greek? I know the Native, uh, the Native Americans and the First Nations, I think it was the Thunderbird. Cannot recall. There we go. The Valley Ranit. Pair of them. Croson Tusker. Man, I love this deck. I wonder if we can find these in full size. Scargon Skybreaker, Shower of Sparks, Prey Upon, a pair of them. Pyroclasm, great word. Regrowth, Terrifying Presence. Yeah, if I saw that, that is indeed a terrifying presence. Ooh, Destructive Revelry, Dragon Blood. That is a really cool looking artifact. Volt Charge, a pair of them. Beast Within. The Fires of uh, Yavamaya. Yep, Yavamaya. And now we get, I believe, to our lands. So let's go through these, because these are fun, but it is kind of cramping my hands. Come on. Come back to me, focus. There we go. Yep, the Kazandu Refuge. Beautiful land. And you gain a life when it comes in. Get a pair of them. Lanawar Reborn. A pair of them. Special lands. Skarg the Rage Pits. I like that. Uh, here's our mountains. Uh, I think these are different. Yeah, these are different designs than the previous tiny little deck. But very nice in our forests. A pair of them. A trio of them. Couple them. 
That's a nice one. I like that. And on the our token is what is it? It is a three three beast token. Well, that's gonna do it for uh, world's smallest Magic the Gathering heroes versus monsters dual deck. This was an amazing gift, and I still have another one. I believe it. Uh, it may come into the channel at some point, but for now it's going to remain sealed. But I think these two are probably my favorites. The Gorehorn Minotaurs. I cannot get over how small they are and how just incredibly awesome they are. I hope you, I really hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Uh, this was incredibly, incredibly fun. I have never seen anything like it. And. To me, that's always better when you can get the chance to uh, open something and experience something you didn't even know exist, let alone never had the chance to. So I'm very happy, and what a great way to kick off 2023 and a new Magic Monday year with the tiniest magic I have indeed ever seen in my life. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully it's the tiniest magic you've seen in your life. If it's not, please let me know if there's anything smaller. And... uh we will see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone.